What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. In today's video, we're checking out the new RPCS3 version 7 alpha build for Android. But I also have some unexpected news about the future of RPCS3 on Android. Well, the developers just announced that the RPCS3 Android will be discontinued after the V7 alpha release. But don't worry, it's not the end. The project will continue under a new name, RPCSX. RPCS3 Android will merge with RPCSS and be rebranded as RPCSX Android UI. All future development will happen under RPCSX instead of RPCS3. Got it. Anyway, right now, this is the latest and final version, the Chan RPCS3 Alpha 7 build. All right. This update includes some new changes and improvements, which I'll cover in this video. Here, I have already updated the app, and everything remains the same as usual. Let's go to the menu. As you can see, they have added an edit overlay option, allowing you to customize the virtual controller. You can adjust the opacity, transparency, and size of the buttons to match your preference. Now, moving to system info, yeah. The drivers are already configured to my phone, and firmware 4.92 is also installed. Now, let's go to settings. Custom GPU driver. Add new driver. Here, you can import and install drivers based on your device. If you're using a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 or lower, it's recommended to choose the Turnip Driver version 25, R3 build, or R2. Select driver, and you're good to go. Now go to Advanced Settings, Core Settings. Most of the settings here remain the same. Like here, PPU threads are set to 2, and in Affinity. All core values are set to General, so here, you no need to change anything. Next, go to Video Settings. Select Vulkan, choose Custom Driver, and set it to Turbo Mode. Get back. Set Resolution to the lowest 480p. Set Frame Limit to Off. Set Shader Precision Quality to Low. Scaling Mode should be Bilinear. Scroll down and select Stretch to Display Area for Full Screen. Disable Frame Skip. Finally, set Resolution Scale to 50-75%. And that's it. These are the recommended settings for Snapdragon devices, and it won't take long to configure. Well, as you can see, the Mesa Turnip Driver 25 gets configured in here. All right, guys, it's time for the test. Now, I'm going to test Sleeping Dogs, let's open it up. But during the compilation, it lags a lot, guys. Like, but if you close and reopen the game, it will be fine. It looks like the Turnip Driver 25R3 is causing some lag. It's terrible and slow on this Adreno 735. Anyways, let's try version 25R2, which is currently the best stable driver even for Windows emulation. We recently played Resident Evil 7 on it with stable good frames, so let's see how it performs on this RPCS3. And here they have also added an RPCS3 button if we select it. It brings up a home menu where you can access settings, take screenshots, record, or pause, save the state of the game, and others. Like, that's a pretty useful feature. All right, here we go. It looks much better this time. FPS is stable in the cutscene. Say, the mole, I came straight to you. I didn't want to start anything major but without you knowing, you know? So get this. A couple years ago, this guy Ming came to me and asked me to look out for him while he did business. Special K mostly, but other stuff too. I thought, why not? Take a nice little cut for my boys, no problem. But this week, I sent Jackie here to pick up the envelope, and he tells my boy to fuck off. Apparently, he's friends with dog eyes now, so we can so, all go. So let's get into the ourselves. open world, and there it is, like it's playable, guys. <laughs> Make 
get up with me tonight, then we got a deal. Huh? What's that? You come to? Me, I got a message. Oh, shit! Let's also check out the settings menu here. We have video, audio, and input settings. You can set a frame limit while playing, customize inputs, enable a performance overlay, and more, all within the menu. That's a really nice improvement in this update. So, with RPCS3 Alpha 7, we got some new features and UI improvements and good performance with custom turnip drivers. The big news is that RPCS3 Android is ending and will continue as RPCSX. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more. And thanks for watching.